welcome back to the channel guys it is your boy Mazio here and today we are back with another Clash of Clans video and guys this video is we are obviously going to be jumping into first of all the clan capital and yeah this video is going to be about uh, obviously how you can triple the dragon cliff and the wizard rally the easiest and the fastest way with the less attacks easily i use two attacks on each district so you guys know like two attacks on these two districts i know wizard rally is not the best district to attack to but some people still struggle getting in four attacks three attacks this is how I'm gonna show you guys to easily get it in two and also it's been a while I haven't attacked the dragon cliff so I was like let me make a video of it but this video is gonna be also showcasing that how easily you can take out the dragon cliff you know in only two attacks yes sir so let's jump right into it and see what we got alright guys this is the dragon cliff that I'm gonna be attacking and you can see it's quite leveled up to be honest with you and uh, yeah there is obviously you always need to find some you know mistakes in the base buildings basically or some you know not not really good place defenses so what you're gonna look for here is basically these three dragons they are richly on each other so what do you want to do about it? and then we have obviously this blast ball you know with this inferno you know next to it so two major defenses next to each other and guys i'm gonna be attacking first attack with archers and the race well and that's because that's how you want to start every district that you want okay so what I'm gonna do is actually just try and uh, you know get some of the major not too major as well but like let's say some uh, air defenses some air mines you know the anything that can target air and the blast ball with the single tower inferno so as much as I can some air defenses you know some spiritures anything so let's just see what we got here all right okay we are live now what do I have this barbarian for is basically this left side I know that spirit thrower will target it but it is what it is so I'm just gonna open that wall too oh three three of them oh my god three traps there. <laughs> okay and that barbarian will be fine for now now let's um, drop an archer here okay bomb bomb all right fair enough fair enough you know I didn't expect no bombs there but I didn't expect two <laughs> archers now we want to get you know good value out of this archer so make sure you don't just spam them because that blast ball will kill them all okay i've seen a lot of people do this i've seen a lot of people just spam these 15 archers inside the base and get a district with seven attacks you you do i don't know why people do it but don't do it okay if you are one of those people don't do it it's just better this way you have to be patient it actually gives you you know more patience attacking like this makes you a patient pe person you know <laughs> i can't lie to you but let's just see we are just keep dropping archers i am gonna rage up soon because i'm gonna get closer to the blast bow but i'm just waiting to see if um we are actually gonna be able to reach it because there's so many defenses so raging here archers for the inferno now the ram open the wall now these archers can they take out the inferno okay no okay i'm gonna lightning it i might use another lightning yep let's go archers there now i want to get obviously a lot of air targeting stuff so i'm gonna try to you know drop archers in different ways as well so we go you know get good value out of everything and uh, we need another group of archers on that blast ball but let the super dragon go back and then you know drop your archers for the blast ball basically now archers are going separate ways doesn't really matter because you're gonna get at the end of the day good buildings you know so it doesn't really matter if they go too separate all right um now more archers that's gonna go down i drop archers on that air mine too do i need the ram here i don't think i need but oh my god look at those archers they're getting that air mine as well a bomb actually they're all air bombs i keep saying air mine um archers down here i probably need another group of archers for down there for that cannon but uh, yeah i'm um, i'm just gonna hold on to the ram now and uh, okay let's just drop it there i guess <laughs> and then log launcher goes off archer's gonna take out the air defense do i drop archers for those two spread throwers that's the question and yes because i want to get air i do not need that cannon to go down i can take it out later and uh, come on archers take out that as well Come on nice there are gonna be able to take it out yep nice okay good so 
Now archers for that air defense, that's good value guys, already very good value, 43% of the whole base. Obviously we have got 3 dragons left, but you're gonna see what I'm gonna do with them. Alright guys, this is the army that I will be attacking with on the second attack and you're gonna see why I have chosen the rocket loons. And that's, I'm gonna explain it a bit, but you're gonna see more in the attack. So the rocket loons guys, they do not target that dragon, right? They only target the defenses and when all the defenses go down, they are going to be targeting the dragon huts so the buildings that the dragon are you know just flying around and then when you kill those you know buildings when you destroy the buildings you don't actually have to destroy the dragon itself if you didn't know but a lot of people already know it but i'm just saying it for the people who don't know so you do not need to kill the dragons actually so with the rocket loons you can just move through the base and kill it and you might be wondering why do i have a frost spell and guys the frost spell will be for these three dragons yes sir because they're close to each other you can easily just frost them and have fun i have some barbarians and everything for the huts on the left but let's just see how this is gonna go drop one here and then let's just move on i'm gonna open up that because it gives me access to a lot of the base i'm gonna drop one barbarian later but i might just drop it on top really on top so nothing on the bottom to get um yeah i'm just gonna drop it on top here i guess you know <laughs> so i drop archer soon on this army camp because nothing can reach it and uh, i know that there's quite a bit of walls left and that's you know just mainly because i cannot drop anything deep inside the base with the rocket loons and uh, i mean that's not bad but it could be better when you have more uh, area to drop your troops but the whole point of this was to get it into attack so let's just see I didn't want to spend another archer attack and get it, you know. So I'm dropping some rocket loons, you know, surgically to go grab all these defenses on the, you know, outer edge. And I'm going to hold the frost a bit now because they are not close to each other, the dragons. And you're going to see the best place to use this frost. And again, this is a base building issue. You don't really want to have your base like this with three dragons next to each other. So you can see two of them are already in that frost. And uh, they are gonna, you know, keep walking in the frost when they get closer, and my rocket loons are getting closer to each other when they are going for the capital peak, basically. Oh, sorry, district hall. Um, now let's see. Rocket loons gonna take out that hut. Come on, rocket loons gonna take out the other hut. And uh, you see how slow the dragons are. Oh my god, the hut went down. Oh, we got two, three buildings on top. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh my god. So we destroyed everything in two attacks. That's basically what I was trying to tell you. A lot of times the bases are like this, you know, so you can, you know, just easily take advantage of, you can see how slow the dragons were on the frost spell. And if you have it, you can use it like this way and drop it in the way that the dragons are gonna come and reach you. You know, sometimes it's gonna help you, but sometimes the dragons might just step out of it. But usually, you usually wanna use it at the, not the end, but like in a good attack that, you know, so, so the dragons will stay on it for a, you know, probably longer time than you, you know, want them to. So just easily use it like that. And uh, yeah, that's how you get the dragon cliff three star easily. But obviously we didn't three, three star it. We have some normal buildings left. So you can easily get that um, in your second attack as well. If you take just one more barbarian or something. So uh, yeah, overall good attack. So let's move on to the wizard rally. Alright guys, this is the Wizard Valley base and listen, you know how Wizard Valley is. There is no splash damage on the defenses quite a bit. It's just the Wizard Tower and obviously we got some bombs and everything but you can obviously take care of that with the good heal spell and guys, what we're gonna use on the Wizard Valley district and what you have to use to get it into attacks or if it's even so much more maxed out because this is kind of maxed of the district hall like uh, level three so if you want to use something that is absolutely insane use the archers with your first attack get the defenses get some good splash defenses out the way and then use hog gliders yes sir you guys know me on this channel i have used it for a very long time before i've had videos of it weeks ago four weeks ago nearly and um yeah i, I think uh, to be honest with you i don't usually like talk too much good about myself but i think i did actually kind of was 
one of the first people, first few people to actually discover the you know strength of a hog glider, and I had it on level one. This is how insane it was. A lot of people just you know have them on level four, and they're like, oh, let me give it a try. Oh, it's that 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 good, you know? But I actually were destroying bases four weeks ago with a level one hog glider. So you know, just saying use this strategy it will be absolutely insane to you so first attack with the archers second attack with the hog gliders you don't need the jump spell for them you don't need anything with them if you don't need the rage with your archers take a heal spell and drop it on your next attack like drop it on your first attack for your next attack on the hog rider so exactly that's how you want to do it but let's just see what we plan for the space all right my plan is with two barbarian, 18 archers, four rams, two lightnings, and a rage spell. And guys, we are gonna go deep in the base and get some, you know, outer defenses or outer buildings, let's say as well. So let's just move on and see what we have. I actually ended up taking a jump spell, and you're gonna see why. Okay, I'm gonna drop some barbarians in an angle that they also go, you know, on the top, on the lower, so one barbarian can actually take those out. I'm gonna open that with a ram. And uh, yeah, nothing really too splashy, so you can always drop anything really quite fast to be honest. And the barbarian is doing good, and do I need an archer on top? I'm just gonna drop it, why not? We can get some defenses, and let's just go in with these archers. And I'm gonna rage up here, because you can see that rage gives you so much value out of, you know, the archers to be honest. The archer is gonna be so much harder to kill, so much harder, you know, they deal damage, and... Uh, yeah by the way that jump is for that air bomb and i'm gonna drop it behind it so my archers have access to other defenses as well but i won't be necessarily use it very much you know but if you have you know you want to let's say take out the district in three attacks like you don't want to push it too hard for the two attacks maybe you don't want to risk something oh we found so many bombs there you can just you know take some lightnings or something or use the jump in your next attack with your archer but again you can easily take out with two so why waste another whole attack now guys we are just taking out these buildings here and uh, yeah let's take out that wizard tower asap come on nice nice archer's going in for that spread through it. he's gonna go down you can see the rage spell they are still in the rage spell taking out all these big defenses and um, yeah good thing is here we have seven more archers and the archers are still in the range you know in the range of the rage <laughs> all right so they can easily take out those cannon cards which are kind of annoying but what you want to do guys is take it out and again we are using this base building issue as our advantage the cannon cards are close to each other and not too close i mean but they are in a, in a way they design that one attack will be able to kill them you can see it already so well, one thing if the cannon is like that you don't actually need to kill it anymore as well so you leave it be it's not gonna be on your next attack it's gonna go run out of health or even if it doesn't run out of health when you enter the next attack the cannon is not there all right now we're gonna have 13 hog guarders three barbarians and um, yeah guys that's how we're gonna do it so the three barbarians are easily for the cleanup and we're gonna take a rage with two lightnings you know so i just have to drop some cleanup drop some lightnings and everything i might actually take more barbarians but this is the plan let's just go let's just go and uh, let's see how we're gonna do it and guys don't you know just don't forget your cleanup drop one barbarian here and then uh, he's gonna go down so let's just drop the hog gliders let's go with them like that you want to drop a bit more surgically because this you know stun damage there's a stun with the first hog glider that is flying around like the builder base so the you know the defenses actually go stun i'm gonna heal here because there's two wizard tower we have deal with so then we got three more hog gliders dropping on the you know sides that wizard tower is gonna be stunned on the top side i drop another hog glider i have two lightning spells you can see the heal spell beautifully placed they are still in heal after the giant bomb i'm gonna drop the two lightnings and yeah guys look at this space there's nothing left and this space was completely maxed for the district level of it and yeah guys you know wizard valley not the strongest space but this is the easiest way to deal with it without spending a lot of attack so i hope you liked it i hope you give this a try because the hog gliders are super easy to use and super fast 
you know very useful so why not to use them and have some you know get some advantage out of them you know before they nerf it to be honest <laughs> and guys that was how easy you can take out dragon cliff and the wizard valley if you like this type of videos let me know down in the comment i might make another videos for barbarian camp balloon lagoon builder workshop golem quarry and capital peak to be honest but we're gonna have a capital peak video soon that how you can actually easily take it out so stay tuned for that and also we have another home village strategy coming up very soon let me also know if you like that um you know the the friendly war we had like the commentary and everything so if you did like that as well give it a thumbs up you know you know how it goes so <laughs> i hope i hope you actually like this type of videos and overall i hope you have an absolutely amazing day take care and peace